Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code ZERK for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Now, although both of these cards should not be an AKA because they're literally a part of the team of the year voting, we picked up Joe Burrow, we picked up Patrick Sertain, and we're going to do a gameplay today. Test how good these cards are. I do want to give a shout out to Gilbert for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, shout out to you guys that copied my picks the last couple days with the NBA All Star break. We had a very, very good weekend. And if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I will have some NHL and college basketball picks, which will be up shortly this afternoon. Maybe already up. By the time this video goes live or will be up shortly after now we do have joe burrow on the team and i know people are gonna ask me about his release what is his release it is slinger five now you might say who has that literally only joe burrow he is the only quarterback in the game with slinger five so i have no clue how good it is i haven't used a joe burrow card the entire year so we're about to find out but he's 88 speed 97 throw power 95 short 97 medium 96 deep with 98 throw under pressure now comparing him to like patrick mahomes whatever one thing i will say is you guys can see him running high run master set feet lead and gunslinger for four ap total he does get qb playmaker and protected uh but obviously i feel like this is the stack you want to go with however Brady and Mahomes can all get Hara Master, Set Feet Lead, Gunslinger, and Fearless. You can't do that with Joe Burrow. However, I will say this, I am someone that is part of the group that doesn't really think you need fearless right now i really have not been affected by it at all i have not been running fearless for a while i didn't run fearless on brady i haven't been running fearless on my patrick mahomes and i've been fine so i think i'm okay running gunslinger set feet lead and hara master uh with mahomes he gets past lead elite instead of set feet lead but i run the same exact stack on him for four ap total as well and then keep in mind he does get the Bengals, ravens the browns and the steelers team can because of the uh, team affinity card he had like at the beginning of the year so rock out with those i'm running omaha and then we have patrick certain who is six foot two 97 speed 95 excel 97 man 96 zone 98 press he also has 68 block shed 82 hit power i love pat certain cards they always play really good i'm running universal coverage on him and then also pick artist and deep out zone ko now he does get deep route ko bench press in here and then short route ko and medium route ko and with certain as well if you're like someone that runs man coverage you can run pick artist you can run you know medium route ko short route ko whatever and then in here you can run short route ko for one ap medium route for one and then also deep route ko for one so you could really put on like short and medium route ko or short and deep route ko and then still run pick artist if you want to his team cam only broncos let's get into it if you guys are looking to get better at madden 23 and you want tips ebooks and advice from madden pros then make sure to check out hotroute.tips and use code zerk for 10 percent off and get better at madden 23 today so let's get into this and see what we can do i think that might be my top three it might be might be my top three his top three all right so let's see how we do out here i'm really really curious to see how patrick's retain plays uh, i really want to keep him on the team because certain cards always play good for me and recently we've been getting a lot of really really good and like tall cornerbacks my team is literally all my corners i think are at least six foot two if not taller as what just happened right there all right so my opponent's down to the 39 i clicked on i guess i accidentally hit the stick or something because certain just like flopped over as that's gonna be incomplete again down in 10 coming up though i have to believe that he's just gonna keep passing the ball i don't think that he is going to run the football here he does have work done though which is a very very good a sneaky good running back in my opinion as we get some pressure we get a sack all right and third down and 24 coming up now i'm gonna look out for gronk and that should be intercepted pat tillman okay, it wasn't an interception by pat certain but the other pat that we have pat tillman great play there i also see he is pressing harold carmichael i think i know where i want to go with this ball because harold carmichael should never be pressed yeah that's how glitchy this card is and uh i don't think my opponent liked that too much he might he might be quitting 
Well, I'm gonna do another one. All right, so hopping into the next game here. Honestly, I didn't even really pay attention when I threw that ball there uh, to really tell how good of a release Joe Burrow had, but Carmike was just that dude. All right, so let's see what we can do out here as I think we're gonna have Gronkowski open. Yep, I'll take that and swerve to the outside. Second down and four now, I really wanna see just how good Burrow's like quick. Okay, yep, so even though the pass is incomplete there, you can see the quick release. All right, so you saw the pass right there. I know it was incomplete, but at least you got to see me throw the football there uh, really quickly short as I think we can high point it to Gronk. Good catch. And I think I can instantly tell on that one little quick throw that I did that it looked not as quick as like slinger one obviously it's it's more around the middle pack that was just one throw though so we'll see again here as i think we can get that to edelman oh i thought he caught it and you know what on that play right there i think i noticed something that i can take advantage of here i think we're gonna have carmichael open if he's running that same defense and nope i lied but we do have oh b marquez Valdez scantling i don't know what happened right there but it seemed like that throw took forever to release. I don't know what happened. Okay, so I just saw the like little playback thing that it does. And yeah, that release was really, really, really long there trying to make that throw. He has like that super long wind up to throw deep and then like chuck it. So that's not great to see as nice completion at least now i know about his deep release as he's gonna be trying to push the ball I'd imagine he's gonna throw the ball here right usually people when we come out in this formation this is this tends to be a a throwing formation as yep he's gonna play action me get some pressure get a hit on him all right second down and 10 coming up and that should be a user pick right there with bo jackson and we're gonna get a very nice return out of that okay so we're down to the 16 now i i think he's once again gonna give me Maybe Gronk one-on-one. -on -one. Is he going to give me Gronk one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, nope. He was not one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to take off, though, with Joe Burrow. Pick up a couple of yards. I'll take that. All right, so I kind of see how he ran that there. I think he's a little bit worried about Gronkowski. So I think we're going to be able to catch him off guard, maybe with Bo Jackson out of the backfield. Yup, again, I, the release, not looking too pretty. I tried to throw it there to Bo Jackson, and I couldn't get the ball off. Bo was open. Third and three coming up, though. Once again, I'm going to be looking to go to Bo here out of the backfield if he's going to be open. And instead, we're just going to have Harold Carmichael over the middle into the end zone. So what I can see from that first drive we had right there, or I guess the second drive there, uh, the deep release, as you guys saw on the first drive, was not very good, and even short doesn't look super quick. Obviously, we're going to throw the ball a little bit more here to kind of test it out, but so far from what I'm seeing, I, I think Mahomes actually has the better release here as once again he's going to go down the middle of the field so he's down to the 49 yard line and now he's going to go to the run game we're going to shut that down though second and nine coming up once again he's going to go back to throwing and work done wide open all right i'm going to send some pressure at him it seems like the blitzes tend to work on this guy and there we go again so the blitzes really seem to get in versus this guy second and 18 and now he's going to go back to the run game hitting the outside come on tell him we get the tackle all right third down and 13 gotta look out for the running back and I completely forgot about that route. You know what? I honestly think that I can just run man coverage versus this guy, and I think we'll be able to get enough pressure on him in time. Uh, it seems like I know I don't run a lot of man, but my corners are, of course, pretty much built for man coverage as Tillman got moss. Okay, so let's see now in this drive how we do with Joe Burrow. I want to test out this release a little bit more, but wasn't a fan of that deep release and even throwing the ball short didn't really seem all that quick. That was decent over the middle, though. Carmichael, another catch. I really want to throw the ball deep. Carmichael is just such a demon out here. I want to try to get him the ball again, and I think we're going to be able to because it's one-on-one -on -one with Dion on the outside and I gotta try that Harold Carmichael and you know what that throw right there was nice that was a very very nice throw by Joe Burrow very good timing and everything here I'm gonna look to maybe go to Gronk nope he's not gonna be open one-on-one -on -one. and yeah we're gonna throw this one away all right second and goal let's see if maybe we can quick fire this one in he's usering on Epps which I think is the guy that's on man coverage on Bo so he's gonna have to jump out there and we're gonna have MVS open wide open over the middle all right so that drive he actually looked a lot better the release definitely looked a lot better right there on that drive 
as I think this guy is going to try to go deep on me. And nope, he's just going to take Hawkinson. Ed Reed just got torched. Ed Reed, I need you to play a little bit better defense. Just, just, just a little bit better defense. My opponent is already down here to the 47 yard line as looking out for the outside. I'm coming back across the middle. Nothing is open and he has to throw it away. Okay, second down and 10 coming up. I wonder if he's going to try. Oh, oh, I thought he was actually going to try to run right there. He did not run it and instead... He beat Charles Tillman again. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, no. I got stuck on a corner, and he's going to run it with Cunningham. I got stuck on a corner back there when he ran the read option, and wow. Great play call. I'm surprised he got away from Mean Joe. All right, so now let's see if we can go down the field here. We have one minute to go down the field. Still three timeouts, though, so we'll really get to see uh, more of this release as we do have Carmichael wide open again. Dude, he is so good at breaking tackles after the catch, too. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have Carmichael, you need him. He is definitely, in my opinion, the best wide receiver in the game as that was, once again, I, I know it was incomplete. That was nice. That throw right there looked really, really quick. Like, that was actually very quick as we're down to the 39-yard line here. If it's one-on-one -on -one with Dion. It is. It's one-on-one. -on -one. I gotta try it. I gotta try it again, Harold Carmichael. Dude, he's so good. You know what? I haven't ran the ball at all. I don't think he's expecting me to run the football. So let me try this. Let me actually try to run the ball here. Get some decent blocks. Bo, and for the TD. So I think we gotta see a little bit more of Joe Burrow. I'm gonna try to throw the ball maybe like short. As once again, he just keeps going back to the same exact routes. It really seems like running man coverage versus this guy seems to be the best possible thing for me. But I feel like now is when he's gonna go to like a read option right he gets down to the goal line he switches it up tries to go to like some read options or something which he doesn't hear and charles you got cooked he broke it up he broke the pass up and he came down with it what we got to see that again look he gets beat okay tillman's there the ball comes out and it's a td what Right, so that was a little bit crazy right there definitely uh some madden cheese as we're gonna start this drive off at the 27 we have julian edelman all right once again the release i don't know what happened it's looking nice we're down to the 44 now and burrow is he's slinging it man he's definitely slinging it here we're once again gonna have julian edelman open try to hit a spin move down to the 27 already and ooh, that could have been really risky i feel like i might get bo jackson out of the backfield is Bo going to be open? Yep, Bo's going to be wide open, and we're going to get that first down. Let's go. And let's go back to Bo here as well. Let's try to run the football a little bit, if we can get some decent blocks, maybe. Okay, final play right here of the third quarter, and look at Bo Jackson. I mean, just wide open underneath, falling forward there, too. And on third and inches, why not pull out my inner Jalen Hurts here, I guess, with Joe Burrow, and see if we just can't sneak it to a first. Oh, we didn't get it. But we actually did not get the first down right there. And on fourth and inches, I'm, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this year. I'm not running the football. I am going to be throwing the ball. And I think we're going to have Carmichael. That's picked off. Dang. I'll be honest. I really, really thought that we had him inside there and that I could fit it in, get a nice little contested catch, or I guess just uh, catching traffic. And yeah, unfortunately so. Not the case, but he's going to be going deep on me and we get the interception. Thank you for catching that tip because if that would have just been, you know, incomplete, I'd have been so mad. Thank you for getting the interception there, Jalen Watson. But now we're at the 42. And let's see what we can do. I know Pat Chetain, I don't even think he's been targeted like the entire game, or at least not notably, as once again, okay, I I'm kind of seeing a, a good release here. I'm liking this. I don't know what changed in between like that first couple throws and now recently, but throwing it underneath here, I'm kind of seeing some quickness and I'm loving it as, whoo, that was risky. He got bumped as soon as I threw it. Now we are in field goal range and obviously I want to win this game, man. I got to win this gameplay here. So I'm going to try to run it a little bit, get some good blocks, but... Oh, try to hit a stiff arm. Okay, third down and seven. We have to pick up this first down. I think I know where I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go to Julian Edelman. More than likely, this ball is going to go to Julian Edelman. And, oh, he's not open. Oh, he's not open. Someone reroute. Reroute across the middle. Grunt, can I make that throw? Oh, my goodness. I really threw it into, like, triple coverage. That is so bad. I mean, there's bad... 
And, and then there's what I just did right there. That was so, so bad. That was just ridiculous as we get a hit on him, Suggs, you get the pick. I mean, that was truly, truly bad right there as I got to look out for the running back across the middle and he's going to get open. And now with him down to the 34 yard line, I'm definitely getting a little bit worried, but we get some pressure. All right, second down and 13. I'm going to look out for the slot and I'm right there with Bo Jackson for another user pick. Let's go. And we really just need to get into field goal range. Let me not try to do anything too crazy let's just get into field goal range and try to win this game Bo, a couple yards honestly i'm like almost in field goal range right now we really just need a couple of yards here so we're at the 45 i know he's gonna be looking out for that and i knew i could get him across the middle with mvs i knew we'd try to watch out for gronk pretty much all game i've been setting that up there by throwing to gronkowski i knew eventually i could catch him over the middle and we drill it right down the middle for the win oh joe burrow two touchdowns 273 yards three picks listen all right if you watch my gameplays you know this i'm gonna throw some picks it is what it is but joe burrow i gotta say the one deep throw again as you saw looked pretty bad right that one deep throw it took a long time to really get up there but aside from that when I initially threw the ball short to Bo Jackson on that incomplete pass, it kind of looked like it took a little bit to get up there, but the release actually looked pretty good. Like after that, I'm not sure what happened, but after that, the release time actually looked pretty good. Like Joe was kind of slinging it. Now the question is though, do you go with Joe? Do you stick with Brady, Mahomes, whatever? I still feel like I'd rather have Mahomes because I've been doing really good with Mahomes' release. I think Joe's honestly might be better what i just played with right there and some of those deep throws whatever he was kind of getting it out pretty quick but i do like the speed that mahomes does have uh, also if you do want to run you know fearless on him you get that extra ability to be able to rock that with mahomes and brady but i don't know joe burrow played really really good now unfortunately sometimes when i do defensive player gameplays you know they just don't get thrown at Sertain had three tackles, but I don't really know if he even got thrown at at all that gameplay. It just kind of happens sometimes, but I'm sure Sertain is also a very, very, very good card as well. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about Joe Burrow. You guys saw his release. Actually looked surprisingly pretty good. I think I'll keep Mahomes though. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.